At one time or another, you've probably been to a sale with an auctioneer at work. It's a job you don't learn overnight and takes a lot of practice. In tonight's Eye on Kelly Land, Sarah McDonald shows you what it takes to be an auctioneer. It's a big day at Stockman's Livestock in Yankton. In fact, at today's sale, owner Greg Reichen expects more than 4,000 feeder cattle to be bid on and sold. Thousands of cattle are sold at this sale barn weekly. I would say we average two to three sales per week all year. And then when we get in these busy times, maybe uh, December and January, we might average three and four. Reichen is the auctioneer getting the sale started today. It's something he's been doing for about 30 years. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love, love what I do. I, I can't wait to get up in the morning and go to work every day. So, you know, it's, it's, it's something that uh, I guess I grew up with it. Uh, started with farm sales and auctioneering, uh, household and antiques and stuff with uh, paint auctioneers back in 1989 and, and uh, eventually moved into uh, the cattle sales. Even though he's been doing this for more than a quarter of a century, Reichen actually had to learn this skill at an auctioneer school. They taught you different things and, and rhythm and, and beat and just a little bit of everything of, in that nature. And, and basically it's numbers, um, putting the numbers together. Dan Copel is another auctioneer here at Stockman's Livestock. He's been an auctioneer for about 11 years. I guess kind of had the voice for it even in high school. I could kind of do it a little bit. Um, I ended up going to an auctioneer school in Mankato, Minnesota, which isn't a very long school. It's only eight days long. When you listen to an auctioneer, you may think they are talking fast, but that's not necessarily the case. Kind of teach you different, uh, just how to count, you know, just by one, you know, two, two and a halves or five dollar bids, you know, and then adding filler words. I use the uh, filler word dollar bid now a lot, so it's just putting them words in between your numbers. and. You know, it's actually talking slow, but with them filler words, it makes it sound a lot faster. Along with that, you also need to keep an eye on who is bidding, which at times can be a little tough. Everybody's got their own little way. You know, you see the TV commercials where they wiggle their ear and stuff like that. And we get guys that wiggle their little finger, and we get guys that nod their head, and we get guys that wink, and we get guys that do just about everything. And you pretty much know who they are after so many years. And, and then you get a few guys that, you know, we don't see very often, and they have their own way, and we, we pick it up. And, and uh, you know, there's times that we get a big crowd. It makes it a little tougher. Both Reichen and Copel agree that one of their favorite parts is the people they get to meet and work with. Just so much fun to shake hands with everybody when they come in the door, when you see them and, and they're smiling and happy. Even when times are tough, you know, they're just that kind of people. They get big hearts and, and uh, mean well. So it's always fun to see them and try and put a smile on their face as well. Um, I got a really good crew. I got good auctioneers and a good drink man. And, and, uh, we get along pretty good that way. I grew up on a family ranch uh, south of Dante, so I'm dealing with people that are just like me, you know, in the cattle industry, and they enjoy what they do, uh, and you have that that common ground with them. So. And it's a passion these two say they will be doing for as long as they can. I love what I do, so I'll be doing it as, I guess, probably as long as I can. I don't know until someone kicks me out. I'm not doing very good, but no, I enjoy what I'm doing. As long as God will let me, let's put it that way, I don't think I'll ever retire because I, I love it. I love it too much and I love the people too much. With Ion Killaland, I'm Sarah McDonald. Reichen also adds at the beginning of January, Stockman's hosted Midwest Region Qualifying Event for the 2020 World Livestock Auctioneer Championship. Sports is after the break.